Uh, hi friends, today we are going to discuss about automatic automaticity of the herd. That uh, how the herd work, how the impulse is generated in the herd, and therefore I made a pathway uh, for the a pathway which is followed by the impulses. And uh, first we will discuss that from where the impulse is generated and what type of the cells are present in the herd and that are responsible for the production of impulses so we know that the herd is made up of uh, the cardiomyocytes the cells and one percent of cardiomyocyte cells are specialized cells which are responsible for the production of impulses and those cells we are called as pacemaker cells why they are called as pacemaker cells because they uh, maintain a rhythmic contraction and a rhythmic uh, relaxation of the herd so they uh, maintain the pace of the herd therefore they are called pacemaker cells they make the pace so they are pacemaker cells the specialized group of the cells they have no contraction ability and the pacemaker cells which are present on the right atrium near the wall of anterior wall of the right atrium to the inner side and near to the superior opening of the superior vena cava so they are, and they are placed or they are uh, present in our right atrium and they generally uh, produce action potential and this action potential after generation is further move or a move apart or separate to the whole region of the herd with the help of certain type of pathways so the pacemaker cells present here is called as SA node and this node is SA node because it is called as sinoatrium node so this is SA node and therefore the production of impulses in the SA node the impulse or the action potential move down to the uh, arterioventicular node through with the help of three pathways they, these are called internodular pathway because they are present between two nodes that is one is sinoarticular node and other is arterioventicular node therefore they are called as internodular pathway there are three pathways which generally provided the action potential uh, to the uh, right atrium and there is another pathway is called as Beckman's pathway and this Beckman's pathway produce or separate the impulse from the sino auricular node to the left atrium after the impulse reaches to the uh, atrioventricular node they stay here for a small amount of time and after that it will pass through the bundle of his to the right and left bundle whenever they reach to the right and left bundle they further move apart and they give their impulses to another group of cells neuron which transmit impulses and this cell is called purkinje fibers this purkinje fiber separated the impulses to the uh, right uh, ventricle and left ventricle and this action potential from the sinoarticular node to the apex of the heart causes the contraction of heart so the SA node that is SA node and after this the internodular pathway and it is reached to the AV node and after AV node it reached to bundle of his And after bundle of his, his it reaches to right and left bundle left bundle and then finally to the Purkinje fibers Purkinje fibers if we discuss the um, automaticity of the herd all these cells the sinoarticular nodal cells the atrioventricular cells 
and the fibers the cell of this fiber and the cell of the protein g fibers they also have the ability to generate impulse automatically they can itself generate uh, impulses if in a case or the pathological condition the sa node stop working then what will do the sign the uh, atrioventricular node they generate they start to generate impulses and if the both the, the nodes uh, stop their function then in the case the um, uh, bundle of his the right and left bundles and the Purkinje fibers they start generating impulses but they are not so sufficient so a patient cannot sustain a patient cannot live if and the sinoauricular node and the ultraventricular node stop functioning so the the automatic automaticity of the each and the cells of the SA node and AV node they have the uh, different um, potential to generate uh, uh, the action potential so we can say that ultraventricular node they have the strongest ability to generate uh, the impulses automatically so they have most about 70 to 90 impulses or in some books it is thought that 100 impulses impulse per minute they have the ability to produce uh, 70 to 90 impulses per minute and every node they have less than this that is from 50 to 30 impulses per minute and the bundle of his they have less than uh, the uh, every node that is uh, round about it is uh, 20 to uh, or 15 to 20 we may say 20 impulses per minute and after these two bundles they also have 15 to 20 or 10 to 15 they have less than 15 impulse per minute and in this case and the Purkinje fibers have very less and some books it is showed that it produces impulses 1 to 4 and in some books it uh, also wrote that it have the ability to, to generate 10 to 15 or less than 10 to 15 so we may say that it have the ability to generate less than 50 15 impulses per minute so these are the automaticity regarding the uh, special type of the cells which generated the impulses and uh, of beyond this uh, uh, we may discuss we have we will discuss about uh, how the automaticity is produced and uh, what are the conditions in which uh, the impulse generating ability of the SA node and AV node uh, they uh, increase or uh, decrease so we will discuss go through that So this is what we call a sign note, a true sign note. This is what we call and this one and these three things what we call as and what is this and what are the fibers? So it is sinoatrial or auricular node, this is atrioventricular node and this is internodular pathway, internodular pathway, this is bundle of his, a small bundle, bundle of his, this is right and left bundle right hand left bundles this is Purkinje fiber Purkinje fiber and uh, if we go through the timing then here the impulse is generated and it starts moving down 
subject to the and this backlink spider backlinks bundle after this here generation impulse and the impulse reach to every node in the time 0 0.03 seconds and after the every note it will reach to the uh, right and left bundle through the bundle of his but before separating or before going through down to the ventricles they will stay for a small amount of time so the impulse stay in in every note or 0 0.09 seconds and after this it will move down and reach to the Purkinje fibers in the time of 0 0.04 seconds and after this it will reach to the Purkinje fiber and they will start separating to the ventricles if we sum up the three that is 0 0.03 and 0 0.09 and 0 0.04 then we will get 0 0.0 0 0.16 seconds so 0 point that approximately we may calculate at 0 0.1 second this 0 0.1 second is the time for the atrial contraction it's mean that the impulses from the atrial and sinoarticular node starts moving toward and till uh, it reaches to the upper kanji fibers uh, it will uh, the ventricles and the, uh, the atrium they are uh, contracting they contract uh, for 0 0.1 seconds so till they contract completely uh, after uh, the reach uh, and the when and the um, impulse reaches to the Purkinje fibers, that is mean that this timing or the stay of the impulses at the atrioventricular node is very very necessary for the proper contraction of the atriums. It stay here and reaches to the here. It provided timing for the proper contraction of the. Um, uh, atriums so the blood can uh, enter from the atrium to the ventricles whenever it reach here the uh, atrium starts relaxing and the ventricles start contracting contracting so the time if we discuss the timing there is the speed of impulse there is the speed speed of impulse in atrium that is 0 0.3 meter per seconds and in ventricles the speed is much more faster that is speed in ventricles Ventricles is that is 1.5 meter per second to 4 meter per second. So it is very very fast, and the speed of impulses in the ventricle is very fast because the area of the ventricle is very large, and so the impulse have to move faster to give a it's a good contraction of the ventricle and why the uh, impulse why the speed of uh, contraction of the impulse is atrium is uh, less than ventricle the reason is that uh, in the atrium or the sino 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 atrial ventricle of note the cells are uh, different kind of cells present in atrioventricular of note and the cells which are present in the Purkinje fibers they have a different arrangement and they have a, a sufficient amount of uh, gap junctions and they are arranged 
in uh, in a sequence way and uh, in while the atrioventricular node and the cells have uh, less gap junctions and uh, the gap junctions or the channels present in atrioventricular node is mainly the calcium and gated channels so and uh, less efficient sodium channels and also the cells are arranged in a cluster so it is uh, it takes a time to generate other pass to conduct impulse from the atrium to the bundle the right and left bundles and then to the Purkinje fibers so this is all about the automaticity that the automaticity of the herd uh, uh, means and that uh, the ability of uh, producing impulses by its own self that it has no external assistance uh, yes it have uh, two or three uh, other uh, pathways uh, we will discuss in later that is the sympathetic and the parasympathetic pathways and in different physiological conditions and they work or increase or decrease the uh, ability of the sinoarticular node and increase or decrease the uh, con conductive ability of the atrioventricular node we will discuss in our next lecture and this is all about the automaticity of the heart